This is just one of the 70 plus dogs who were rescued from that operation last week by Turlock police. Now, police say that it will be a while until these dogs are up for adoption because there was a process and the suspect is still at large. Dozens and dozens of dogs and puppies with evidence numbers instead of names. This is something that we were not anticipating, and lo and behold, there was 70 plus. Dominique Sanchez with Turlock Police says investigators were only anticipating around a dozen dogs in this animal cruelty investigation. But after a slew of several calls around the area, they raided this home on the 400 block of South First Street in Turlock. And once they got inside, I mean, you go into the kitchen and there was crates stacked and stacked on top of each other filled with dogs and then you go in a bedroom and then same thing. It was a really horrific scene to see. Now the dogs are under the care of the police, but taking on this many dogs is no easy task. This person he didn't have good intentions with these dogs at all. That person, the suspect, identified as 46-year-old Jorge Ayala. He's still at large, and Sanchez says that is complicating things even more for the precious pups. We can't do anything with these dogs quite yet, so um, as far as how long that will be, um, time will tell. These puppies, camera shy or not, have to wait until a judge orders their release so they can find their forever home.